Hey there, wrestling fanatics! It's your host here once again. It is Team Rai Rai, and we are gonna do the review of the 2015 Hell in a Cell pay per view live from Los Angeles, California. You wanna say hello to your viewers out there and plug your social media, my guest? How's it going? It's Paul again. I'm pretty excited to be here. Excited to talk about Hell in the Cell. You can look me up on Twitter, Paul Arnold87, or you can check me out on YouTube, Two Dudes Vlog. Yeah, all his links will be down below. So subscribe to this guy, follow him. He is pretty cool, pretty cool dude. Okay, the first thing we are gonna kick off. Speaking of kicking off, is the freaking pre-show. You want to take it away? Well, you know, like. I was discussing with you before we started the podcast that it was a pretty good match. It didn't really deserve to be on the pre-show. It could have made it to the main card. And so, you know, it's good. it was a good match. It was kind of fun to watch. But, you know, I, I, I hate what they're doing with Cesaro. He's a really good talent. And, you know, putting him in those tags. And same, same with Neville and even Rusev to some extent. I like all three of those guys. and They're really not doing the right thing with them. Nope, I totally agree. I think it's the creators because those guys are young talent and they we use them in a wrong direction. But completely, yeah, we just wrestling fans. We can bitch, complain all we want. Does it do any good? No. But it was a good match. Give you ready to get, I mean, give you pumped up for hell in a sub pay per view. Are you ready, Paul? I'm ready, and I'm ready too. I say we can bitch and we can complain to the creators and we can make Vince McMahon stop all this bullshit storyline. Yeah, pretty much. But does he ever listen? Does he watch these videos? Hell no. I doubt it. Then let's tweet him all those pizza emojis. Yeah, come on. We should We should all tweet him. Come on, I'll... McMahon. Get your ass in gear and uh, get the product correct. Not just once in a blue moon, but whatever. It's not going to happen. Yeah. We can keep trying. Yeah, okay. The first match on the main card, the kickoff, Hell in a Cell, with John Cena U.S. Championship Open Challenge. Now, before we discuss his challenger, in your eyes, who do you think will challenge John Cena for the U.S. belt? Who, who did I think was going to come out? Yeah, before well, the, um, the real guy came out, in your eyes. Well, I, I had had Tyler Breeze in my head okay. for a long time. Uh, I was thinking Tyler Breeze the whole time. Then Samoa Joe was rumors going floating around. The real rumor was D. Bry. That was the one where a lot of people are saying he's cleared. He's made a, made a flight to Los Angeles. So I was I had high expectations for it. And well, you can take it from there on who it was. It is Dorio, really, W. Dorio. I mean, I, I'm I'm not, I'm not really excited because. I don't know, I just, um, they fired him a couple months ago, they brought him back, and uh, I guess it all comes down to money, <laughs> wow. It's, I just gotta say, I don't like Alberto Del Rio, I'm just gonna go out there and say it, his character, to me, is boring. Yeah. And it's just, it's like, I, w I was rooting for John Cena, and I don't like John Cena. Me neither. So, I, I you know, I was ready to throw... All of my Mountain Dew at the TV, but I saved that for later. And then the only reason John Cena lost his match because he's taking time off. If he never took time off, he'll beat the real. Well, put the strap on somebody better than. Yeah. I mean, if you put it on Samoa Joe or, or somebody who, you know, honestly, if you put it on T Bride, that makes sense, but you're going to put it on Del Rio? Yeah. Good God. I don't know how long he's going to be in the company. I don't know if he's going to have another incident backstage again. You never know. Um, okay. What? Hopefully. Yeah, and then guess who else came back is um, um, uh, the manager who used to manage uh, Jack Swagger. What's his name? Zeb Coulter. Yeah, yeah, I really thought it was gonna be Jack Swagger came out, but nope, it's the real. So really, are you freaking serious? They used to have a a bit of rivalry with Jack Swagger, but oh my gosh, Jesus! And I have feelings not gonna be Tyler Breeze because he's had a little feud with um Dolph right now, so it'd be kind of uh, like a one eighty, you know. You know, I just think that somebody younger, somebody new, 
or Daniel Bryan should have got the strap. Del Rio, you know, people might have been kind of happy last night. Everything I've heard from the internet, uh, people are fucking pissed. I'd be, but, I'd be pissed too. <laughs> but, but I would like it. I would have liked it to be someone else. Yeah, but I heard um a while back, but he wants to be there like around WrestleMania 32. I guess he changed his mind, and he don't want to be a surprise. He want uh, make an announcement. So yesterday was a surprise. So I guess he changed his mind. It, it all comes down, mon- it comes down to money, Paul. Yeah, I guess so. But I just don't know why Vince or anybody else would want to pay the guy. I won't either. He's not that good. He's a rip off of JBL. And pretty much, that's the bottom line. And it's gonna be the same old shit. He's gonna be healed a couple months and down roll his face. It's like um, another spin off of, no offense, The Big Show. <laughs> God, yeah. I mean, we don't need another Big Show around in the company. So, this match is okay. Did you like it or not really to kick off the show? Uh, no, it was a quick match and I, it, it wasn't believable. I mean, John Cena has been in, ah. in these wards at. In these open challenges. Yep. Like, with Ziggler, I mean... Neville, they oh yeah, Kevin Owens, oh, yep. Wars, like 20-minute matches. And and then it just seemed like he lost too early. Yep. Yeah, I don't so, know. I don't know, I'm just... I guess... Whatever. It should be like the mid... Um, not the kick off the show, it should just be in the middle, middle, but whatever. Okay, next match. Alright, you, you want me to take this one? Yeah, go ahead, man. Okay, the next match, which one was that on the card? Shit, I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, let's, we're going to go with the tag, tag team match. I know it wasn't r- directly the next one, I don't believe. No, I don't think so, but whatever. It don't, I don't think it really matters, wrestling gurus, but it was the New Day. New Day rocks. New Day rocks, whatever. The defending, the tag team belts versus the deli bowl. Get the table! Of course, Zario Wood is out of action because he got injured last pe- this past Monday, of course, that's our poor store line. But overall, New Day retained because they used their trombone or whatever. They got involved. It got backfired in Deli Boys. It's a pretty good match. High paced match. I really enjoy it. But I really wish the Deli Boys with a the new tag team champion, they will be the tag time tag team champions in the wrestling world. What's your thoughts on this match? Well, I think if the way they're booking New Day is just, I like them, but they never can win clean. It's just kind of... Hello? I, oh. I would have rather seen the Dudley Boys win it. Yeah. I'm an, I'm an old wrestling fan. I'm a mark, so... Well, that's how most of the heels do these days. They they cheat to win. They don't win. They, they never, ever win cleanly any heels, you know? And that's, the, that's, that's another thing that we should be bitching at Vince... Bitching at Hunter, send all those emojis, guys, because I'm tired. You know, heels don't look very powerful anymore, unless no. your name is Brock Lesnar. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so it was an okay match, huh? It could be way better, huh, for the tag team belts? It could have been way better. It was forgettable. Yeah, okay, next match is the Hell in a Cell, Roman Reigns, and Bray Wyatt. Now, these two guys have been bickering this past summer. I didn't care for the few that much. Um, I'm glad it's freaking over, hopefully. Um, in my eyes, probably a lot of people are going to share me. I think uh, Bray Wyatt should won because he needs it more. Roman Reigns is so way over. He he looks strong. And eventually he's going to become the World of Heavyweight Champion. Another thing, ah. another thing that really bothers me, Paul, I don't know if you agree with me, this match needs freaking blood. Because oh, yeah. in the, it's a hell in a cell. I know these guys... Are young, but give them damn blood for crying out loud. Jesus, crying out loud. I never saw Bray Wyatt blood or any, any, um, uh, no, Roman Reigns did bleed at WrestleMania 31, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Uh, I don't, I think it was, he bleeds a lot from his mouth. Okay. But I want, I want his face bleed like Lesnar and Cena did in the past, but I don't know if that's ever going to happen. Maybe one day it will happen. We can hope. So, I mean, do you like this Hell in a Cell match, or do you think it'd be way better with blood in it? It was it was a decent match, but okay. if you would have gotten, you know, these these guys were taking pretty big shots to the head, so if somebody would have bladed, then, hey, I would have been pretty damn happy to see Bray or Roman. It would have added the dramatic element that was missing from the match. As far as the finish goes, I mean, I'm not unhappy that Roman won, but Bray Wyatt... 
to be honest with you, has lost so many pay-per-view matches. I know. It, it's not even funny. It's sad. I don't think, that... I, I don't think WWE has any... Um, um, I don't think McMahon gives a flying shit about Bray Wyatt. I don't know why. They just... He, and he has a great stable now. He's like freaking powerful. Strong. But I don't know. He just... One-on-one, he's just like a pathetic loser. What's the, what's the point of having a good stable if, if you look like shit as yeah. a leader? I mean, like, all your guys lose. Yep. Everybody on there is, you know, Braun Strowman's the only guy who really isn't a jobber yet, but I'm sure they'll, you know, make him look crap like crap, too. He will so, when, he, when he faced John Cena, so just wait. Um, you know, another thing is missing is when someone goes through the cage, you know, or, you know, but yep. they don't want to do that because it's not PEG. Come on, W. You could do that a little, be a little edgier for crying out. It's a pay-per-view. People will pay for this shit. No shit. Come on now. But it was okay, man. I could be away, but I'm glad it's over this feud. Hopefully. Oh uh, yeah, I pay nine ninety nine a month just like every other subscriber on the WWE network. Yep. And we're tired. We should start a petition to end this Roman Reigns Bray Wyatt shit. But you know what, McMahon man. just wanted our money, so it doesn't matter how bad uh, this show is we were watch if it's free or not free, you know. Nine 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 is not a bad deal. But another thing is Oh, you know what? Did I have any problem with, with my um, laggy? No, I had no problem with it last night. Did you? No problems, but I have had a little bit of issue before. Yeah, in the past, probably for Mania or Rumble, the big ones, you know? The big ones, yeah. There always seems to lag. That's that's the worst. They got the um, McMahon. Fix that shit. Fix okay. Convinced. Sorry, I got a little... Um, Otherwise, you're going to throw that router right out the window, right? Pretty much, but I don't think... Uh, it will be good, um, because then I gotta get another one. Um, good point. Okay, another match is for a lot of championship matches. This is not Night of Champions. This is you know, this is like a rare, you know, two minutes. Yeah, it wasn't the next one. I believe it was the Divas match. Okay, Divas match. It's a rematch from the last pay per view. Nikki versus Charlotte. Charlotte would defend her belt for the first time. This was a very good match. No interference from both teams. I'm glad that Charlotte retained. Nikki looked freaking hot like always. Um, I'm glad Charlotte won. What's your thoughts on this match? Do you like it or do you think it was too slow? I thought it was a decent match. I don't, don't like the Bella Twins. I'm, I'm happy to see Charlotte win because okay. she's got a lot of wrestling talent. Now I hope that they can move on and put Charlotte in a feud that's going to showcase you know, her wrestling ability. And maybe, you know, I know we've seen it a lot in NXT, but put Sasha Banks up there with Charlotte, and you're yeah. going to get a five-star match every time. Oh, yeah. I want to see that. Like, uh, hopefully, I don't know, we'll see that um, at WrestleMania 32. That'd be even sweet. Yeah, make it a triple threat, man. Get yeah. Sasha Banks in there, get Paige. You're going to have a one hell of a match. Make, you, know, you know what? Make it a triple threat elimination match. I mean, yeah, that'd be even sweeter. I would like to see chairs in women's wrestling. Yeah, they need, they need, they need to do that. You know, just if the guys can do it, let the chicks get chair shots. Let the chicks get tables out. That'd be that'd be amazing. And let them believe once in a while. Who cares? You know, come on, look, make a little. Exactly. I know they can say, "Oh, it's women." Who cares? If they in that sport or entertainment, they should do the same thing as the guys. Who cares? Don't don't pa- don't um uh, baby them. Don't baby them. I'm with you 100 percent on that, right, right. But whatever. But I know they don't listen to us. That'd be cool if they could listen to us. Oh wow. Uh, the rest of fans, we're going to listen to their fans now. Yeah, okay. We and Vince, this podcast. This is for you, um, Vince. So tell your people to give it to you. <laughs> you have nothing better to do. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, next match is for the W World Heavyweight Championship. If Demon Kane loses, Corporate Kane is no longer in the directory of operation. Seth Rollins would defend his belt against Kane. And now this was a good match. Now this match should be... In the Hell in a Cell. But my friend named Tony says if you had three Hell in a Cell matches, it would be overwhelming. You agree or disagree with Tony? Well, Tony's a great man. I just want to give him a shout out. Tony. He'd be right back. So in the meantime. Um, are, you, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Sorry about that. It's okay. Uh, okay. So I agree. I kind of agree with Tony. I think that what you have to do is. If you put three Hell in a Cell matches on there, I do think the heavyweight title match should have been in the Hell in a Cell. Yes. And maybe maybe Bray and Roman didn't need it because it wasn't very good anyway. Yeah. But I think the, the 
biggest issue of it is you got to have a certain like mystique about Hell in a Cell. Not every single match can be. It's got to be special. Is what I'm trying to say. If Hell in a Cell, if every match was Hell in a Cell, how special would Hell in a Cell be? Not very special. Exactly. It would just be you know just kind of like having a steel cage match. Yeah. So I think um, with Tony, I, I agree with Tony. I think they should just have two matches, Hell in a Cell, or one. Because back in the day, they used to have three, and it was so over overwhelming. And a lot of people were bitching like we're bitching now, you know? Yeah, but the match was... the, the Even though it wasn't Hell in a Cell, it was a decent match. Started out pretty strong. Yeah, it could be better, but whatever. I'm just glad that Kane didn't win. I had a feeling that he's not going to win, but he's a part-time wrestler. And maybe he didn't want to win it. I know you guys say, oh, Brock Lesnar won the belt. He is a part-time wrestler. The Rock won it. Part-time wrestler. Well, I don't know. I guess I can't really. Maybe, maybe because McMahon wants him to win the belt, and they're more. Um, they could use him more in the um storyline than than um than Kane. I don't know. I'm not too sure, but I don't know what's next for Kane. So probably he's gonna go back to Demon Kane now. So I don't know. It just wasn't that fun of a match to watch. No, was... I don't care for a storyline because he's going. Kane, the Demon Kane, it's it's I think it's ridiculous. It's kind of annoying, but you know the match, the finish was really weird to me. Yeah, I thought that it was like this kind of crappy looking pedigree. Yeah, I just I don't know. I, I it's stupid. They should just give him the title. That'd be cool for for Kane, and I don't know. It's, I don't know. The, the creators are so dumbasses, um, Paul. You know. I'm with you, man. Okay, well... I think well, I write a better storyline, you know. Okay, next match is the IC match. Is the rematch from last month. We see a lot of rematches from last month. <sighs> so, right back with Defend... Uh, I'm not right back. Kevin Owens with Defend his IC belt for the first time. You know, pay per view versus right back. This match is... Not that great. I don't think so. <sighs> it sucked. I'm just going to go out there and say it. I love Kevin Owens, but I think Ryback should go back to... He lives somewhere in Vegas, so if I find him, I'm going to give him a, a pass to the Green Valley Ranch Buffet. <laughs> another copy of The Secret, because he's going to need to reread that and maybe watch a couple of wrestling tapes so he can learn how to fucking wrestle. Yeah, I, I think uh, Kevin Owens is pretty good. He just don't have a good opponent. I think the only good opponent so far for him is John Cena. Hi, kids! So it's just like that, you know? It's just... It's sad, you know? He needs a good opponent, Kevin Owens. Yeah, don't put him against the steroid guy right back. Yeah. So, i like to see him, Kevin Owens versus um, Taker in the future, if Taker can still wrestle. I don't know, he's, he's getting up there. That'd be cool. Yeah, okay, Um, I think we have more one more match, right? We got the main event. The main event! Now, Brock Lesnar with Paul Heyman versus The Undertaker. This is... You know, they have a great history ever since back in the early, no, actually the late, no, the early 2000s. You know, they met Unforgiven. They met at um, uh, um, Hell in a Cell, you know, No Mercy, then No Mercy the following year. You know, they had a great history. So last night was a very, very good match. I mean, I really liked it. They went all out. Uh, two guys got busted up. I was very shocked. They tore up the, the canvas. I was wondering what the hell is Lesnar doing. That's the first right. time they ever did it on a pay-per-view, right? Yeah, I think so. And, of course, Lesnar won. A lot of people said, what? Take her show on. No, Lesnar show on. Take her show on. Whatever. And I really thought we were going to see like a screw job, but it never happened. But we will discuss in a few minutes. So what's your thoughts on this match? I think that Undertaker... I'm going to be serious now. I think The Undertaker, you know, he's very dear to my heart. I've been watching him since I was a kid. And he is a little bit slower now that he's older. You know, he's not as strong as maybe, I'm not going to say that, you know, he's not strong, but he's not as strong as he used to be. So I think with what they did with the match is they did a lot of high spots. They both got busted open. Lesnar got busted open. It looked great. Um, Taker, when he got busted open, it kind of, it, it didn't look bad, but it looks like, it looked just kind of weird up there on his hair. Kind of looked like he had just, uh, spilled some shit in his hair, but, you know, the match had a good dramatic element. 
And that's what makes wrestling wrestling. It didn't have to be the most fast-paced match or technical match, but the blood made it dramatic. The, the steel step shots, just everything about it was making making it dramatic, which led to a good match. So I, of course I wanted The Undertaker to win. I'm a huge Undertaker mark. But I was satisfied with the match. Yeah. Uh, yes. Oh, by the way, did you hear McMahon didn't like that because the both guys got busted up? Did you hear about that? Well, I didn't hear about that. Yeah, uh, McMahon, when, when, the, when the show ended, you know, um, both guys got busted up. Of course, he bitch and complained. McMahon, if you're listening again, it's hell on itself for crying out loud. You know, come on now. Let the guys <laughs> let the guys do it. And if they get in trouble, who gives a shit? If you're going to find them, suspend them, who gives a shit? But let them... Sure. What? I'm sorry, go ahead, Paul. There's no way that they're going to find them. I know, I mean, I'm, just, I'm just... This is just... It just... Um, um, you know how McMahon is, you never know. Mm. But I know it's not going to happen. He's just going to bitch and complain like he usually do. He's a semi-old man, love to bitch. Let him <laughs> wrestle. Who gives a fan shit, you know? I know... He gives a shit about the health, but on the other hand, you should just make the main event awesome. And I don't know whose idea, make the blood. I don't know if they asked um, Vince permission. I doubt it. Maybe it was um, Triple H's idea, or maybe they did on unknown. I don't care, you know? Or maybe it's just a rumor I'm hearing. But I don't know. McMahon always got to complain if, if it's not his way, it's the highway, you know? Well, I think that if Vince McMahon's going to complain, he's a hypocrite. I remember Vince McMahon versus Shawn Michaels. I forget exactly what WrestleMania it was, but it was a street fight. I'm sure you remember that match. And Vince McMahon and HBK were both bleeding. Oh, it was WrestleMania 22. Right. There you go. In Chicago, yep. So, so Vince, if you don't like people gigging, if you don't like blood in the matches, sit back, drink an insure, and get over it. Yeah, or um, get out of the kitchen or whatever they say. I forgot what what that saying say, but... He needs to step down or let his son-in-law take over, but I don't know what to say. But what you really, what you really thought on the ending when, when they left out the Hell in a Cell cage? So tell the viewers on your on your uh, viewer on your viewer on your point on that when the Hell in a Cell raised up. Well, Hell in a Cell raised up. Undertaker was trying to stumble. He was getting trying to get his feet underneath him, and I kind of thought, you know, the crowd was chanting "Thank you, Taker." I kind of thought maybe he was going to get on the mic and get a promo. A retirement speech, what'd you think? Yeah, me too. I mean, it'd be perfect. Perfect time, right? Yeah. But it didn't happen that way. So you get all the Wyatts coming out. <laughs> so what? And then, yeah, and that just, it, to me, I don't know how you feel about it, right? but it pissed me off. Yeah. Because Undertaker already beat Bray Wyatt at WrestleMania. Yeah. Bray Wyatt lost earlier in the night. What the hell business does he have coming out here when he's on a, a losing streak? And it, it's just ridiculous. They carry out the Undertaker. They beat him down. But come on. And no one helped Taker. No uh, Kane. No okay. one helped him. I thought Kane's going to help him because, um, you know, Brother of Destruction is going to reunite for the billionth time, but never happened. And I think that's a dumb ending, how it ended the pay-per-view, but that's just me, but... I don't know what really happened. That's the same thing we happened a couple of months ago with um what Kane they, they they carried him out and they never continued that storyline, you know? Yeah. So I don't know what the hell is W is doing. They're so stupid. McMahon and the um, the creators are so stupid. Well you know what? Last night's pay per view was wrestling wise it was decent. Yeah. Like, it's not the I'm... best show of the um, it's not the best show of um of the year, hell no. I'm hoping Survivor Series is better. Oh, speaking of Survivor Series, it's confirmed that he, uh, Taker is going to be there because it's 20 year, 25 years at Survivor Series. So this is my guess. It's going to be the Wyatts, um, Taker, probably Kane, maybe Sting, maybe um, Dana Bryan or John Cena, maybe. I don't know. Or maybe John Cena probably going to have a few with the real for the U.S. belt, probably. So I don't know. That'd be a 5-on-5. Five five. That'd be pretty cool. And then uh, Taker don't have to um, be in the ring as much, you know? So, He's going to need a tag partner, I agree. Yeah, so I don't know what's going to happen. We'll find out tonight. Not really too sure. I don't think uh, Taker's going to be there. I freaking doubt it. Doubt it. 
So, you know, he's all busted up. He needs the time off. He won't be back until Survivor Street probably the week of or sometime in November or whatever. But I don't know what W's thing is. The Whites, you know, really, we got to see the Whites versus Taker? Really? I don't particularly want to see it unless, you know, uh, it was Lucas Starr who gave me, uh, he sent me a message and saying the only way that he wanted to see it was if it was a buried alive match between Bray and Undertaker. Now that I would like to see too. I know who's going to win that match is probably uh, Taker. <laughs> yeah, because they, they, Bray Wyatt's already buried alive. His whole career has been buried. Or maybe you might do it another way is buried a Taker and he's going to be out until WrestleMania 32. He's going to change the gimmick, you know, American Badass or something like that than, mm-hmm. you know, like they did for around, around WrestleMania 20. So it might be like that. I don't mind a buried alive match. And this time let Bray Wyatt win the feud, you know? <laughs> Yeah, but I maybe. D- I doubt it. You know, you know how W is, is you know. We how it is. But no interference, no um, no Wyatt family, no Kane, no one interference. Watch the guys we didn't mention. It will be a new guy who will interfere in that match and cost Taker the victory, <laughs> or co- cost cost uh, Bray Wyatt the victory to watch. Yeah, we'll see what happens. So I'll be, I'll be getting in. So overall, um, I give it a, um, I don't know, I give it a four, three stars and a half, or I don't know, maybe two stars and a half. I was gonna give it a solid three out of five. Okay, I give it four out of five. I think I don't know. It was a decent show, but nothing big happened. Sheamus wasn't even on the show. That's weird. Well, no, was yeah. he? No, he was on the pre-show, wasn't he? No. What? On the pre-show, right? Yeah, he didn't have even attempting. Uh, to cash in in his money bank yet. He didn't try to cash in. Thank God. I don't want Sheamus to win the title. It's going to happen soon or later, my friend. Probably. You're right. I agree. Okay. You want to say goodbye to your viewers out there if they're listening at this moment? Hey. Thank you guys for listening. I want to thank Rai Rai for having me on the, the podcast. And I'm, uh, maybe you hear it from me again soon. Thank you for listening. No problem. And uh, hopefully all the viewers... If you're listening at this moment or whenever we're just damn things up, thank you for very much for listening. Um, probably most of you, if you're a DVD collector, you'll pick this son of a bitch up. Um, I can't wait for a DVD cover. How it look like. I just want to look at it. Um, that's about it, really. So this is your host here, Team RRA, and thank you for listening to our Hell in a Cell review. We are out of here, and have a great Monday, and enjoy Raw 10 night. Peace out.